I want you to think back to your childhood. A time where you felt free. A time where you didn't have a care in the world. Awesome! Woohoo! Every day was so exciting. You could go outside and have a new adventure. You remember what that felt like? Sometimes I feel like things have changed since then. This is a factory, and every day it does the same thing. It produces power for a lot of people, and it definitely makes life easier, that's for sure. But the thing about factories is they don't have much say in what they do or do not do. They're designed, built, and set in motion. And then from there, they just keep going on and on and on. And I'd like to make the claim that we're not so different from this factory. This is us. We're headed to school, work, or some other exciting activity. And every day it seems like we do more or less the same things. Wake up, scroll, eat, keys, leave, come home, eat, sleep. Think about it. It's almost second nature to us. As soon as we have any spare time, we pull out our phone and we start scrolling the Instagram or the TikTok or whatever it is, looking for something. I have no idea what we're looking for. Maybe just something to pass the time. But to me, it seems like we've been kind of programmed in a way, kind of set into this motion, kind of like the factory from before, where we have been programmed to be on our phone as soon as we have any spare time. And when I think about this, I think about machines and computers and kind of how they run on this if-then sort of basis. And for us, what this might look like is if I have any spare time, then my phone should be out. Then I should be scrolling TikTok. I should be looking at the internet. So in a study performed in early 2023, researchers took a sample of college students and looked into smartphone addiction and kind of how that affected college students. And they found that nearly 50% of those students that they were researching or studying, they reported being in a state of high mental distress. And what the researchers defined this high mental distress as was the lack of ability to want to do hard things as well as lack of sleep. So when we think about this, 50%, that's like half of a Kit Kat. Kit Kats usually come in two sticks. And if you opened up your Kit Kat and there was only one stick in there, you probably wouldn't be very happy about it. So clearly 
there's some sort of issue here where college students and people are pretty addicted to their devices and I think that's something we need to talk more about. The problem isn't necessarily that we use devices and we use smartphones. I think the problem is that we use them more than we should. And I think the main thing that we're missing here is balance. So let's take a trip back into the past to talk a little bit more about this, shall we? So we're talking about Galen. Galen was born in 129 AD. And he had this idea about the four humors. And no, he didn't come up with the idea of the four humors. That was a Greek idea that was composed of blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. And kind of the idea was that these four humors or these four fluids kind of made up the human being and the human body. And what Galen added was this idea that these four humors need to be in balance because our health is equal to that balance. If the proportion of humors is offset, or there's one that's higher than the others or less than the others, then that's gonna to lead to sickness in the human body. The way that this connects into our topic about being overly connected and overusing our devices and being addicted to them is the fact that it's not necessarily a bad thing to use our devices, like I mentioned before. And like what Galen talked about, if they become out of balance, that's where the issue lies. And that was kind of the thought process. So applying that same thought process to our digital usage, our, our devices and how we are so sucked into them, so absorbed, it's very similar. So what I'm trying to say is that our natural lives and our digital lives are way out of balance and it's making us sick the addictive nature of smartphones. People here are looking at their phones every 12 minutes. 352 times a day on average. What's being described as a global addiction? Okay, so maybe that was a little dramatic. Maybe the world's not gonna end just because a lot of us are scrolling our phones pretty consistently and pretty often. But what might be happening is that we're missing out on a life that's more full of meaning and memories. And for me personally, I know I don't wanna reach the age of 80, 90 and look back on my life and think, wow, I wish I hadn't wasted so much time scrolling the internet there was nothing really gained from that. And I'm not saying that technology is bad, devices are bad, and that we can't use it in good ways. But what I am saying is that we should be trying to get out a little bit more than we do now. And for me, this has been really fun to make this video. It's been a long process. It's been over the course of like a full month that I've been making this, but it has been really fun and really cool for me because I've been outside I've been in places that I don't normally go or I haven't been in a long time and I've been able to capture it with a camera and I've been able to preserve these memories and these moments of being out in nature and connecting with the world around me. And honestly, that's been kind of therapeutic for me because I'm looking for something beautiful as opposed to just mindlessly scrolling, looking for literally anything that maybe piques my interest. But I'm out looking for something beautiful in the world that I relate to, that I connect with. And there have been a lot of studies out there done where people want to know, like, if we're in nature, how does that affect us emotionally and mentally and physically and all those things? And they found that there was a positive correlation with being out in nature and our physical and mental health. Those things are improved as we're outside, as we're exploring the world, as we're hiking, as we're spending time in the park, as we're 
not focused on the screen, but we're focused on the world around us and kind of the beauty that there is. I think it's safe to say that this is a good time to readjust our priorities, rebalance our lives, and find a way to spend more time out in nature. Because over the course of this video, we've talked about machines, and frankly, machines don't have any say in what they do, but we're not machines. Let's be better. Let's do better. So anyways, there's some ducks out there, and I think they're pretty cool. We might need to make friends with them and say hello. Maybe name one of them Harold. Maybe Daffy or Donald. That could be pretty sweet, actually. So I'm gonna go swim out there real quick and I'll catch you on the flip side.